Greetings, people. Thanks for tuning in and listening. I'm trying to work from my notes and from my news feed. So there's some things I want to talk about. Thanks for tuning in and listening. Appreciate you coming in. Like, share, leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe. Appreciate it. Okay. America crumbling. America's crumbling. Infrastructure. And this was on 60 Minutes. I get all my news from where the status quo don't. The hidden jewels. You gotta dig for treasures. And it's not treasure, it's just truth that you can't do nothing about. But they're not gonna tell you this openly. They just tell you surface things. But anyway, the infrastructure, and this was in 2014, 60 Minutes, they did an outstanding documentary on the crumbling infrastructure and the struggle, the struggle to fund urgently needed projects. It's like, I just don't understand it. Do you, how they purposely allowing this place to just crumble on purpose? It's on purpose. I don't, can you figure it out? The, the, the roads, the bridges, but I do see them, the, because 275 is just jam packed. They make it a road clear. They did that in 67 in Detroit. That's when they started making the roads to get out of the city. They started making roads smooth. Because they didn't want the the, uh, the the European American staff to be caught in the city. And to be able to have a means to get out smoothly. So. But the crumbling infrastructure, they got a plan. They, I don't know what they're going to do. How are they children going to live? The children's teeth are being set on edge because of what these people are doing. They must know. That they, 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 they. What about your children, grandchildren? You have no concern for them because there won't be a place here. It just cannot be. Even if they get rid of global warming and fix everything, get all the plastic so that the baby turtles are not shitting plastic, if they could get rid of all of that. Hi. This place is like I said it before. Take a gallon of red paint and spill it on your floor. Now get a rag and clean it up. You can get as many rags as you want to. And that's the damn truth. You can't clean this shit up. It's infested. It's a malignancy, honey. It needs to be burned by the root. You can't clean this up. It's too much blood in the soil. Come on now. How are you going to fix this? Is it, what a, so are they self-destructing? Because they know what they did? Is this the wiring is coming loose? Because I don't understand the mind of people. Do you? I'm very old-fashioned conservative. Sensibly conservative. I don't understand how people my age and over are co-signing with what's happening to these children. It's heart-wrenching to really know what's going on out here. What's being allowed. It's sad. And the enemies see it. They see what's happening here and they just shaking their head and they talking about it but on social media. Private journalists that are telling the truth and they shutting them down one by one. They shutting it down. We are in the a cesspool. We are in the middle of something that we allow to manifest. And it's a wrap. 
<laughs> so bad. It really And this is the real peace sign. Not this. Peace. I'm going to end because I don't like to be long. Keep them short and sweet and I'll come back. I'm talking too much. I'm rambling. But I'm just getting this shit out. Like I said. YT is my diary. They got all my uh, videos. But I have them too. Everyone I hope. I don't know how can people keep. They may have 3,000 videos. How are you saving all of them? Some people used to just buy another computer. And their uh, library was a computer. So they had a closet full of computers. <laughs> the library for 67, 68, 68. Or, you know, 2015, 16. Th those computers were for those years. But how do you save 3,000 videos? But isn't that something when all this should go down? If YT cut the cord, cut the umbilical cord, they got all your shit. And they can do anything they want to with it. They can't. Who knows what they gonna do? They got it. What they gonna do with these videos, y'all? You know? And that's why I'm trying my best to stick to matters at heart outside of me. I don't wanna go into my family or personal business. But they got it down anyway. They know every fucking thing there is to know about us. Whether you on here or not. They know. To you people that think that people that's on here talking too much. We just giving it to them. But they got the shit on you too. Have you ever filled out a form. And they trying to identify you. You trying to uh, establish yourself within a company. And they try to find out who you are. If you say who you are. And so they give you these questions about what car you drove, the first car you drove, what was your zip code in 2019. They give you these questions that only you can know. They know everything about you. God damn it. I said, how they know this shit? How they know my first car in 1972, uh, what it was? How they know that? And feed it back to me, regurgitate it back to me. Hey. They got you. They got us all by the short hairs. And the only way out is one way. And the old saying was life is a bitch and then you die. You know? And like those that living in refugee camps. Somebody asked this woman. She said, um, what give you hope? Why do you wake up? Because they having babies in the desert, child. How do you do that? You know how bloody it is to give birth? How do you do that without water? I don't get it. You got five kids. Six, seven, eight, nine in the desert. But I'm going to end here. Peace if you can find it. Thanks for tuning in and listening. I'll come back. Keep it short and sweet. Like, share, leave a comment. Peace if you can find it.